Okay, so I'm uh, in the back room of my shop. Uh, got a couple of uh, builds uh, drying up here, uh, waiting on those guys. And uh, so what I thought I would do is uh, sh share with you a little tip that, uh, or a little gizmo that I came up with as far as uh, cutting your fret grooves. Uh, and now if you have fancy equipment, you know, you can just uh, skip this video. But if you're like me and you're dealing with mostly hand tools and stuff, uh, maybe this will help. And if it doesn't help, well, that's okay too. Uh, I generally print my uh, fret marks, the, the, you know, the distance between each fret. I use a template program called WFret, and I'll drop a link on the screen there so you can uh, check that out if you need to. But then I usually line up uh, the fret marks on my fretboard, and then I typically take pencil and put a mark, and then I take my T-square. If you don't have a little T-square, they're pretty handy. And I'll go through and mark where all the frets should be. Now, the problem I've always got is when I'm trying to cut a straight line with this thing, uh, this is a Japanese pool saw. It's about six or seven bucks at Harbor Freight. And like, if you're like me and on the cheap, it's probably the best fret cutting tool, uh, fret groove cutting tool you can uh, use. But I always end up uh, snagging and, and I just don't feel real sure about my cut. So what I did was I took these, uh, I just took three scrap pieces of wood. I lined them up in this formation to where this one is perfectly parallel. And then I just glued them together. Now if you're using a, you know, a, if you're using a tapered neck, this is not going to work for you. But if you're uh, just going all basic and and you typically use, you know, the same width of, of a neck like I do, then, uh, or, you know, if you have a couple different ones, you could just make two or three of these. But then this lets me set my mark up, and I could go to all the pencil marks and just draw the line. I don't have to worry about whether my T-square is perfectly straight or, or crooked. Uh, I can just rock through like that. And then the big uh, help comes in with cutting. And so what this really, the whole reason I made this was I wanted something to uh, line my blade up against. And so now when I line up, I'm not going to cut on this, of course. But then I can just pull and drag and just keep pulling and keep pulling until I, until I get the, uh, the groove, the thickness that I need. I'll probably make a couple of different more versions of this. But uh, for me, this was free. And uh, it really has uh, saved me some time with uh, cutting fret grooves. So I uh, hope this has helped. Uh, if not, well, that's okay too. See you next time.